Hey everyone, Bad Ducks here, and we're gonna play some more Along with the Queen. So we are on day 14. Well, I seem to- I'm day 14, week 14. I seem to be going like every seven weeks, and that's- yeah, it seems about good. So we are about to learn some uh, history and economics, so let's get to it. Well, wow, it's a lot of history. You read about the western continent Giavar, <laughs> where civilization flourished so long ago that the ancestral Novans were still living in caves. No one knows what became of them. The population vanished without trace, leaving only their enormous stone buildings. In the distant past, the Yeveni tribes to the east rode great beasts with spines and tentacles on their heads instead of horses. The bones of these creatures are sometimes found in Lilla and Mead, and their tusks are valuable to crafters. Okay. You brush up on basic mathematics with the help of an abacus. Okay. Simple. Simple enough. As you walk one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. That's funny. I thought owls were nocturnal. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> when you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There are reports that a key thong has been sighted leaving the old forest. What's a key thong? A beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak, and spikes on its back. So it's not the tentacle one. <laughs> Yeek! Several disappearances in southern Caloris are already thought to be the work of this creature. So what do we do? Should we send hunters? The traditional policy on stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. Hunters are no match for such creatures. You would only make it angry and waste more lives. So we just let it eat people? Everyone dies in the end. Like, <laughs> nice king. <laughs> yeah, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, now I'm depressed because people are dying and we're not doing shit all about it. Oh my god, so depressed right now. Like, we need to stop being depressed. I need to be happier. Or angrier. Um, let's just go to the garden. Because this is killing me, this depression. Can't get shit done. Okay, so she knows some things about the world. Um going to need uh, um hmm. this is def oh okay well I'll just okay we'll do the accounting so I can get into the thing maybe we'll just do two accountings let's just do two accountings and hopefully I can get my oops my crystal you study the manipulation of, a lar of larger quantities through direct calculations using written numbers instead of an abacus. You study money lending and the controversies involved in charging interest. According to the Druids, one should always return more than one is loaned, or else the debt gave no value to the world. Remember that the festival of the good lady is approaching. There will be a public celebration for the commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. As queen, you would be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly giving a speech. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not required, and you may not be safe to expose. It may not be safe to expose you to the public. <laughs> what do you mean, not safe? <laughs> Outside the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm, well, think of it now. Decide later. Think on it now. <laughs> there is a letter for you as well. It's from By Byrony. I went to school with her, but she's a couple years years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead, where all those fossils are. 
She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come for the holiday, come home for the holidays. Apparently, her uncle Kevin is absolutely furious about that woman's trial. <laughs> eh. She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have any to suggest to her, <laughs> so I'm really no help at all. Let's see, can I get the treasury? No. <sighs> no. Um, because that stuff is happening, the ball and stuff, I think my dancing should be okay. Um, I don't know about this stuff. Probably not. But I can't do much about it. Uh, so I think let's brush up on some history. I think would be best. Uh, novel, Novin history. Uh, we'll just do foreign affairs and Novin history. I think that'd be best. No individual may hold more than one dukedom, but nobles seek noble spouses, so titles often come together before being parceled out to heirs. Your father is Duke of Calaris, and his brother is Duke of Mazomba. Bryn, Duchess of Hellas, is the sister of Banyan, Duke of Mari, and so on. Yeah, I didn't, like catch any of that. <laughs> Tombula to the north underwent a peasant revolution shortly after you were born. The nobles either fled or were killed, and the new rulers have so far refused to establish official diplomatic ties with Nova. While they, while they are not friendly, neither are they enemies, at least not yet. And I have unlocked a new outfit. Today is the procession of the planting for the festival of the good lady. Will you be leading the parade? Hell yeah, I will. If there are any, if you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment if we lose you. There is no recover. If we lose you, there is no recovery. Yeah, because it's game over. You know what? I am going to parade and make a speech. Look at that, look at that. I'm like all ready to go. I'm not, I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'm going to be the best parade leader ever. My little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your ad attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. I guess it's like my weapon? Ooh. At the end of the route, you help the priestesses turn over the earth for the new trees to be planted. After the blessings are read, you hold up your hands and call for silence so that you can speak. Oh shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, all the words you had planned go out of your head when you're faced with the moment. You manage a few polite sayings about the meaning of the holidays and thank everyone for attending, then turn away your cheeks red. The procession regroups to return to the castle. Oh, okay, I guess, I guess uh, I was a little overconfident. <laughs> um, I don't know what she is right now. Let's make her... I don't want her to be depressed anymore. So... She's still depressed. Why? Oh, because... Okay. This is a pain in the ass. <laughs> in the ass. Oh, I got a new outfit. So let's, let's scholar's gown. So I get some boost to my history. I think, well, okay, I'm not gonna wear that right now because we have the gala to go to, so I think conversation would be better. Uh, I think we should do some intrigue. No, I need... It's my economics fine. Okay, I still need 
to get that crystal. You study bookkeeping and the art of note notating incomes and expenditures like oh like real interesting stuff this is really interesting stuff <laughs> as well as how to determine the amount of funds a solvent business needs to keep on hand I have taken accounting it is so boring I do not blame her why she is so depressed right now you learn about the concept of diminishing returns, a point after which spending more on a particular project fails to improve it as much as previously previous spending did. Okay, it's at 50 now, so it should be I should be able to get in there, hopefully. Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles no nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. Go. You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Oh yeah, I got, I got a success. You let your eyes rest upon each in turn as you have been taught, impressing upon them that you are not a child, but a queen. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently across the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own dance, your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kegel alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. You look around the room at all your possible partners, which is to say, everyone. So <laughs> no one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want and you will not be denied. Look at that, look at that. Success. No doubt every noble, noble family with eligible sons has dreams of a royal wedding. Your choice will raise some hopes and dash others. Feuds could be born here. Oh yeah, wait up with the pressure on me. The Duke of Kegel has not yet named any of his sons as an official heir, but his second son, Lindley, was always kind to you at school. If you wish to show favor to Kegel, Lindley would be your choice. The Duchy of Eleth is currently held in Regency for its young Lord Adair, who is only twelve and a head shorter than you are. Eleth is a rich territory and at least little Adair wouldn't try to take any liberties, <laughs> like try to grab your ass. Dancing with Banyan, the Duke of Mari, could be quite awkward if you did not actually wish to marry him. He has been waiting years for a powerful heiress to accept his suit. Not all nobles are created equal. You could choose someone charming and unimportant, like the Earl of Mima, a territory too minor for anyone to consider a threat. However, the major families might eat him alive afterwards. If you wish to distract attention from your marital prospects, you could choose someone clearly ineligible, one of your uncles or an older family man like the Earl of Ishtar, or even a woman, though that may be mildly scandalous. Wow, I have a lot of choices. <laughs> um, I think I will go with... I think I'm going to maybe go with Lindley. Let's go with Lindley. He bows to you with great courtesy and you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Oh shit, I'm not very good, am I? Unfortunately, you lose track of which steps you're supposed to do, when, and trip over your own feet. Oops. Between the dances, there's time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food. Oh, look at this. Success. Success everywhere except for my dancing. You interact comfortably with your peers, leaving a wise word in every ear. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Mari, taps his elegant fingernail against a, wing, a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. If I might have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her bravery and courage kept our keep our borders defended. Everyone applauds politely. Just like, oh, isn't that nice? 
As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwenel, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to final to f and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Dell, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lilla and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you at school and the absolute terror of the ball fields. The ball fields. No no Bryony or Byrony Bryony I fucking don't know. I don't know. Whatever. That the girl. <laughs> she had said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together, the duke consort clutching his duchess pot possessively tight. This sounds like a keeper, that one. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by. I can't sense any magic. <laughs> It's nice to be able to enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? Um... Right, let's see if I can get into the treasury now. No. Whoa, she's angry. Well, you know what we do with that? Military! We're gonna do some, some military strategy and logistics. You study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons and battle formations. You learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march and how long they will remain edible. Yeah, because that's really important because, you know, you gotta eat. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until too, until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. Siren, Countess of Miranda and Callisto. Okay. You are too kind, Jocelyn. <laughs> Countess Siren, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior, far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not at all old as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. How dare she make a move on your father? So what can we do? We can shame her, insult her, or trip her. Let's try insulting her. It's probably not gonna work. Good afternoon, Countess. Oh my, what large breasts you have, putting them on display for any particular reason. Elodie. Really, my dear, it's not polite to comment on a lady's attributes like that. Hey, she kept it short, right? Isn't that what she was taught? But you are young. You will grow. She's angry. That's good. It's good to stay angry. Perhaps we'll be seeing more of each other in the future. She gives a little wave and exits. Bitch. <laughs> Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman, nothing more. She wants something more. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. You should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far, because I'm awesome. <laughs> as queen, you must be aware of everything around you. Isn't that what I have agents for? Oh, okay, she's suddenly aware of this. Yes, but you must give them direction. What is your greatest concern? Noble plots commoner uprising, foreign threats, or assassins. Um, I'm gonna say noble plots, uh, because I don't know what they're doing. I need to know what the other noble nobles are up to and whether anyone is plotting behind my back. As you wish. And I think that's gonna be the end of this video, and so thanks for watching, and we will continue and see if I can make my coronation because that's 
that's the goal and yeah <laughs>